Hi. Now I'll just give you a moment to pause the video so that you can read this question if you haven't done so already and attempt it. When you come back, do either fast forward just to check out your final answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we're asked then to determine then whether these two lines intersect, parallel or skew. Now what we do is we'll look at if they intersect. We'll equate two of these together, compare the I, J and K components and then we'll select two equations to work with simultaneously and solve for lambda and mu. And then from there I can check with the equation that we didn't use to see if it satisfies it or I could substitute my values of lambda or mu into these two and see if they are identical. If they are then they're going to intersect. If they're in the same ratio they're parallel and if these conditions aren't met then they'll be skew. So let's just look at if they intersect first of all. So we we'll just put here if they intersect. So I'm not saying that they are at this stage but if they do then let's just compare the I components. We'd have 1 plus 2 lambda here 1 plus 2 lambda and that would equal mu minus 1 there. We'll look at the J components next so put that down there J and we've got minus lambda here minus lambda equals and then over here it's going to be 5 minus mu. And finally let's just put down K when we compare the k components we've got 3 plus 5 lambda 3 plus 5 lambda equals and over here it's 2 minus 5 mu. Now at this stage we need to solve a pair of simultaneous equations and I look for which ones look the easiest to work with. You might not agree here but I'm going to pick these two here. Do experiment, try the other ones, it's up to you, okay? So number those one and two and so I can see that by adding these two equations together I can eliminate the mu. So let's just put down here equation one plus equation two. Let's see what it gives us. Well we're going to have one here then and then two lambda minus another lambda that's going to be plus lambda then we've got minus 1 plus 5 which is going to be equal to 4 and from this if we subtract 1 from both sides clearly lambda is 4 take away 1 which is 3. Let's border this off and we now need to substitute our value of lambda sub lambda equals 3 in let's say equation 2 now. So if I do that we've got minus lambda so that would be minus 3 and that would equal 5 minus mu. And then if I rearrange this add mu to both sides and add 3 to both sides I therefore get mu equals 5 add 3 which is 8. Now there's two ways I could go then with this. I could just check to see what I get with the K components here and see if they are equal or whatever. And the other way is just to substitute our values for lambda and mu into each of these equations for lines and compare them at that stage. Now I'll do both methods so you can see how to do it. But uh, first of all I'll just check in the equations with K. So we'll just say check with K. Now with this don't just substitute your values in to this equation. Just put it into the left hand side and, and then the right hand side separately because you never know whether they are going to equal and it's going to look silly. And so if we just say 3 plus 5 lambda 
What's that going to equal if lambda is equal to 3? It's going to be 3 plus 5 times 3, which is 3 plus 15, 18. And if I look at 2 minus 5 mu now, okay, 2 minus 5 mu, and substitute our value of mu being 8 into here, we've got 2 minus 5 times 8. 2 minus 40, in other words, that's equal to minus 38. So just as well then that we didn't just substitute into here directly because we'd have ended up with 18 equaling minus 38, which would have seemed a bit odd. So we can see then that therefore 3 plus 5 lambda does not equal 2 minus 5 mu. So what does that imply then? The lines must be skew. Okay, so lines are skew. But I did say there was another way, and let's just put it in here. The other way would be to substitute our values for lambda and mu into our equations up here. So suppose I called this line here A, and we'll say this line here is B. So if I substitute lambda equaling, what was it here, 3, lambda equals 3 in A, let's see what we get for R. R would be equal to, we would have 2 3's 6 plus the 1 there's 7, so we're going to have 7i, and then lambda equals 3 into here, so it's going to be minus 3j. And then when lambda is 3 here, 5 threes are 15, plus that 3 is 18. So plus 18k. And then if we now substitute mu equaling 8 in b, so it would have r equals, and substituting mu equals 8 into here, would have 8 minus 1, which is 7, so it would have 7i. And then 8 in here, 5 minus 8 is minus 3, so we get minus 3j. And then for 8 in here, 2 minus 40, which is going to be minus 38, minus 38k. So you can see then that they're not the same, so they're skew. If they were in the same ratio, remember, they would be parallel. So I hope it's given you some idea, a couple of ways then that you could answer this particular question.